Well, no real immediate end in sight to this turbulent spell of weather we're experiencing in the UK at the moment. No sooner do we lose one swirl of cloud, a midweek storm where winds gust up to 90 miles an hour, that you cast your eye into the Atlantic, another area of cloud is developing. It may look to the south of us, but it's got its eyes firmly on us. Another low-pressure system developing. Now, this won't be quite as windy as the one we've seen, but... It does bring a lot of rain. England and Wales on already saturated, already flooded ground, and that could cause some further flooding through uh, Thursday into Friday. Clears out the way, and then into the weekend, another low charging off the Atlantic. Very similar to low pressure we've seen through the middle part of the week, bringing us spells of heavy rain, strong to gale force, maybe severe gale force winds, possibly even storm force around some of the coasts once again. And whilst that eases by the end of the weekend, for the start of next week, we have to watch where this area of low pressure in the Bay of Biscay is going to end up. It could be heading our way. And the reason we're seeing succession after succession of low pressure systems coming our way is all down to our old foe, the jet stream. That ribbon of fast flowing air way up in the atmosphere is what develops, drives low pressure systems across the Atlantic towards us. Problem is, it's stuck. It's there in between the uh, warmer tropical air, the cold polar air, and it's continuing to flow from west to east. Coming out, charging out, in fact, of uh, North America. And on each little wobble on it, we see a low pressure system develop. And it looks like that pattern will remain through much of this coming month. So there's not going to be any desperate sign of change to something dry, something prolonged as far as dry weather is concerned. So expect some more rain at times, some more strong winds. And even if conditions aren't as severe as they have been, given the fact the ground is so saturated, the coasts have taken such a pounding, there could be the risk of some further flooding. We at BBC Weather, though, of course, will keep you updated with it all.